My name is Jung Lin Jonathan Yang, and I'm the sole creator and sole copyright holder of this graphic that summarizes the first derivative test. This graphic is made for my own personal use. Today's date is January 20. Today's date is January 1st, 2024. I'm using a gradient background because this is trendy. But it seems a bit weird to... There's too much of a contrast to have a graph that's totally white on that background. So it just doesn't feel very comfortable looking at that. That's why I put that semi-transparent white background between the graph and the gradient. The first derivative test uses the first derivative to classify whether a critical point or a singular point on a graph is a maximum or a minimum. At a maximum point, whether the maximum point is a critical point or a singular point, the derivative is increasing to the left of this point and then decreasing to the right of this point. At a minimum point on the graph, the first derivative is decreasing to the left of the point and increasing to the right. There are also times when a particular point of interest is either a critical point or a singular point. In these two cases, because the first derivative does not change signs, either the graph is increasing before this point and increasing some more after this point, or decreasing before and also after this point in either case. This point is not a minimum or a maximum. Even though it's a critical point or a singular point, it is just a point that is either flat enough. It's a, it's a point that's either just has a horizontal tangent line or has a vertical tangent line.